Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Fight Focus. And for today's video, we will be covering the craziest axe kicks and up kicks ever seen. Axe kicks and up kicks are totally rare when it comes to an MMA fight. You're probably familiar with this move if you grew up as a younger sibling. Though it is a rare move to see, it is even more rare to see it actually knock a fighter out with success. Most combat sports fans can count the number of times they've seen an axe kick on two hands. You don't see it very often, but when you do, you definitely will remember it. These kicks are highly underutilized strikes that could be devastating once it lands. Upon seeing some of these kicks being thrown, there's no doubt that some of these fellows have had their skulls cracked or for sure some bad brain trauma. Regardless of how reckless of a tactic it seems, it could for sure add another win to your record if you utilize it correctly. For this video, we have comprised a list of moments where fighters used an axe kick or an up kick that somehow didn't kill their opponents. Make sure you take an aspirin before this video starts. You're gonna need it. So without further ado, this is the craziest axe kicks and up kicks ever seen. Number 11, Michelle Watterson. Michelle Watterson's grip on the Invicta Fighting Championship to Adam Way Throne grew stronger at the expense of Yasuko Tamada with a crazy axe kick finisher. Gonna clinch up there with Watterson. Oh, Watterson! And drops a heel on there and gets high. Watterson set the tone for what was to come with the dominant first round as she stayed busy with her kicks, tore into the Japanese veteran with savage knees from the clinch, and later dropped her with a beautifully timed axe kick that landed right on the back of Tamada's head. Number 10, Tony Ferguson. Back in 2011, El Kukui competed on the Ultimate Fighter Team Lesnar vs. Team Dos Santos. Ferguson would go on to win the reality show with a knockout finish over Ramsey and Jim in the season's finals. However, it was Ferguson's knockout finish over the Ultimate Fighter competitor Justin Edwards that had snared the attention of many fight fans. Number 9, Bielstor Leifson. This axe kick was very difficult to watch, but was also quite satisfying on how Bios was able to land it. Boyos fought Nazir Sadiq at 5 Star Championship 12 back in October of 2017 in London, England. After some kicking exchanges from Bios with little to no retaliation from his opponent, Bios let him have it with the axe kick. I don't know if they've traveled over or they're from the UK, but what a reception for this man! Rich Rich will take it close and he's seen enough! Wow! What a perform- Number 8, Nico Price. Nico Price had earned one of the craziest knockout wins of 2019 with a stunning upkick KO of James Vick at UFC Tampa. Reach. Wow! With those long arms to work. He's gonna throw the legs to the side. Oh, oh my kick. god! James Vick! I think he's out! From the bottom again! With barely 90 seconds gone in their welterweight showdown, Vick looked to be in a good position with Price on his back on the canvas. In his welterweight debut, after moving up from the 155 pound division, Vic stood up to reposition himself just as Price let fly with an upkick. Price's heel connected with stunning force to Vic's jaw and the Texan was in serious trouble. The Florida native landed some ground and pound before referee Herb Dean could put a stop to the action with Vic looking seriously worse for wear. Is anyone else surprised that that kick did not break Vic's jaw? Number 7, Igor Slezarchuk. This fight took place back in 2011, but never fails to make its way on Reddit and YouTube. Though there was a size disadvantage for Igor's opponent, it didn't stop him at all for attempting a takedown in which would be successful. After a good amount of the time was spent on the ground, the referee eventually got both fighters to stand up again to continue on exchanging. The insanely painful kick would come when the fight ended up back on the ground again as Abasov attempted to hold Igor's leg. After Igor fed many kicks to Abasov's face, the fight would end as soon as he entered the state of knock the fuck out. Number 6, John Fitch. Maybe not as powerful, but still impressive, John Fitch also utilized the uncommon upkick to put away an opponent back in 2006. Can Fitch finish it here? No! Oh. Alvarez oh. is out! Great job by oh, Tim! Oh, a big kick! A big kick from and the bottom of Alvarez! Fitch stopped former title challenger Thiago Alves after landing an up kick and hurting the Brazilian enough to reverse the position and finish the fight from mount. The kick didn't immediately knock Thiago out, but it stunned him in order for John to be able to get on top in order to get the TKO victory. This was really crazy to see since this was the first ever up kick in UFC history. It took about two kicks to get Thiago hurt, the first one did a little damage but the second shot really was the nail in the coffin. Number 5, Andy Hugh. One of the most famous axe kickers of all time was kickboxing and karate world champion Andy Hugh. 
Andy was a Swiss kickboxer that won numerous champions with the Kyokushin Karate before switching over to kickboxing. Though he is the only person on the list not to really finish his opponents with an axe kick, there was no way we were going to leave out the godfather of axe kick himself. Not only was he the founder of the cake, but most of the time he was able to land them spot on without any problems and did it all with power. Number 4 Henzo Gracie This particular fight took place back in November 22, 1996 in Birmingham, Alabama. After a few takedown attempts, Henzo ended on his back and landed a beautiful self-defense textbook upkick that practically knocked out Oleg. The kick and Taktaro has the leg. One single punch finished the job and Henzo was off to celebrate with his team. Number 3 Fabian Edwards Yes, this is Leon Edwards' brother. Facing Falco Neto, Edwards was able to land a pair of inch-perfect upkicks from his back before springing to his feet and finishing the fight with a brutal combination. With this win, the 26-year-old moved to 7-0 and continued to prove himself to be among the most exciting European prospects in the game. Number 2 Alex Chabov This fight would also take place in 2011 in the EFC Africa promotion. This particular one was EFC Africa 08 and this insanely painful knockout took place in the first round of the fight at the 1 minute and 27 mark. This fight would mostly end up on the ground till Mark was able to get himself off the floor, but this would fail when Alex attempted multiple up kicks till one would land right on Mark's chin, looking like it almost broke Mark's neck causing him to be out cold. After Mark was completely out, Alex landed a couple more shots to him till the referee would swoop in and save Mark's life. Number 1 Alfie Davis In this K1 rules bout from September 3rd, 2016 at UC MMA 48 in London, Alfie Davis landed an amazing axe kick that knocked his opponent out cold. This all occurred in the third round when both fighters exchanged some punches and kicks, it would all go to shambles when Nick Baker showed his palms out, asking Alfie is that all he's got? Then he would eventually eat those words after the axe kick would literally split right on his head. Davis again with a very good combination coming forward. Beautiful KO! Wow! Wow! Unbelievable! Afterwards, he would get interviewed by Joe Rogan and that would be the end of the night. And that right there concludes this list. Let us know what we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below what video you want to see next.